what is going on guys this is cupcake smasher here bring you another video and today we are about to open a magical chest i'm getting so extremely lucky with the chest and actually i've kind of figured out this account pretty well and i'm gonna be kicking off something new so let's get into the chest openings right now so first off we have this free chest plus 61 gold no one really cares about free chest skeletons and barbs okay good we're about halfway through uh, halfway to the level eights for our commons and then we'll be at the tournament level uh i think we're we're really close on everything being tournament level whatever that means not nah. so i i think i think we're doing good and i'm totally tangled with my wires here sorry i'm trying to get those out ah there we go that's a little bit better hog rider that's a big upgrade i still have level fours and some of my claimants have level sixes that's insane uh then we got skeletons perfect now, uh, let's go Magical Chest. So, we got a couple of rares actually guaranteed. Plus 682. This, this, this chest is kind of weird because they give you a bunch of little things guaranteed, but not a whole bunch in general. So, let's go here. First one, we're getting two Tesla cards. Okay, let's see. Come on. Archers. If we get a Legendary this time, I'll be happy. And if we get a Magical, or not the, or the... Ice Wizard, I'll be pissed, because I really hate him. Royal Giant, we're getting a bunch of those, of course. Uh, now I think we ha have a couple rares to get, so maybe a split among two. And then we have two two magicals, I guarantee, or two epics guaranteed, I'm not sure. There we go, though, Barb Hut. Don't use the Barb Hut. Minions, a bunch of minions. So now we have our magical one so no three musketeers we can actually almost upgrade those and now here we go so we're getting two magical cards with our next one boom there it is and it's the mirror that's actually a pretty good one so let's get back here okay guys so on to that announcement though i really want to start trying to go through the other cards because of this legend reset this legend reset basically knocks down these top tier players closer to me and you know what that makes it not unfun but it makes it it makes it really, really difficult to push, so right now I'm basically at the top of my strategy can achieve. I, obviously, I'm a little bit down because I'm on a losing streak, but that's fine. But what I want to be doing is each week, uh, I'm going to be selecting a card. Each week, right after the Legend Reset, I'm going to select a card. Try to try to see what it's, what it's good for. And this week, I've decided I really want to try this Royal Giant, so we are going to be upgrading him. Maybe if I can afford it, he's going to be a level 8 common. And the reason I'm kind of doing this is because I want to try out all decks. And now, unfortunately, I won't be able to hide behind a level that's controlled completely by me. So I can't be like, hey, I'm the best level 7 in the game, even though I have, like, level 9 troops. So I'm going to be upgrading the Royal Giant. And then we're going to be using him, seeing what we can do. I'm going to build a deck with him. So first of all, let's upgrade. Let's put him in the deck. We're going to have totally him centered in our deck. We're, so I'm going to come back in just a second once I decide how I want to try him out. Okay, guys, so here is my deck. It's rather expensive, so I might need to rethink it. But basically, I'm going to throw the Gi Golem and Royal Giant down together right as we hit double Elixir Time. And we're going to be seeing if the Golem can actually help the Royal Giant out a ton. And then the rest of the troops I have here are for defensive purposes only. So hopefully we can do good. Uh, I'm not really sure. I'm not sure how it'll go. Let's see, though. Let's get into our first battle right now. So here we are, guys. We're against a level 9. Great, Supercell. Oh, my goodness. But we are just trying out a new deck. Problem is, with a level 9, you basically have to try a 3-crown. Otherwise, you're going to be in a lot of trouble because they can just overrun you. So let's see. What can I do? I really want to see the Golem. Where's the Golem at? Because I want to put them down as a push together. I am getting so unlucky. This sucks. So we got the Musketeer coming our way right now. There goes the Minion Horde. Perfect, though. We can use those arrows. There it goes. Okay, we're going to be dealing with this push, but we spent so much Elixir. I think he's just been banking it. And this Musketeer is going to do so well against us, but... Oh, my gosh. This is awful. He's got his Princess. What am I supposed to do? I really want the Princess. I want her so bad. Let's throw a Dark Prince down. He's going to throw his Normal Prince. And uh, our our Dark Prince will deal with his uh, with his stuff just fine. Now we got Prince Prince action coming at us. I got to throw down Elixir, though. I think I'm fine for now because these Princes will get distracted pretty well. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. So luckily, though, the Dark Prince actually didn't knock down all the Skeletons, which is what I thought he was going to do. 
Uh, so we actually did kind of get lucky there. And this is the first time either of us have touched the other one's towers. I'm going to throw the arrows down on these minions. And uh, he's going to get so much damage down because of that. We finally do have a pump down. I think it's about time I throw a golem. Try to get our push going. He's going to throw a baby dragon for the first time though. Uh, I can't even decide what to do. We'll throw spear goblins. Try to just try to just deal. Now we're going to throw the golem down on the opposite side. And we're going to let it charge up a little bit. We're already near our royal giant. So we're doing alright. We'll have to kind of see how it goes. Uh, it's actually looking pretty decent, so I might throw a Dark Prince in for defense on this side. Now we're going to throw Royal Giant here next to the Golem and uh, see how it goes. So here we go. We have the Royal Giant. We have the Golem pushing up one side. We have our minions coming up to back up this push, and we're actually going really, really well right now. So Golem is going to break up to, into Golemites, but we have the Royal Giant out in front. We're actually going to deal with his minions just fine. So I'm going to throw another Elixir Pump down in case we want to start another little push on this on this other side. So we're actually doing really well. Now he wasn't obviously the best attacker ever uh, because those guys are up on the leaderboard. Actually, no, the people on the leaderboards really suck. Supercells just kind of coddled them with their gems. But here we go, Dark Prince down, Dark Prince down. Now we're going to throw my minion horde once that baby dragon locks on. And we're coming with the royal giant again. So this guy is in a lot of trouble. His witch will do some major damage. But we're going to actually pull off the win against a level 9. So not, not the worst strategy. We actually might 2 crown. No, not quite. But that was actually pretty decent, guys. I'm liking it so far. Let's get into our next battle. Oh my goodness, that was actually really good. So here we go, guys. We are getting into our last match right now against... Haliax Infinity, and so we're going to throw Elixir Collector down in the back, and that should be good. So he's going to throw a Tesla down in the center. I don't really care about that. My deck can definitely tank right through that Tesla. And now it is kind of go time to see where he's going with things. Going to throw the Spear Golems down. He's going to throw the Barbs down. He probably has arrows. People who have those barbs tend to have the arrows, so I'm going to be throwing my Dark Prince in the center, trying to take care of those. Going to throw a Tombstone up in the center, and that was really dumb, dude. He's going to throw the Spear Goblin, or the not the Spear Goblins, the regular Goblins, to try to deal with the Dark Prince. Now I think we're going to throw a Golem down. He's kind of, he's just wanting to defend, and I don't know, I'm guessing he's a Hog Guy. Hog Guys are the ones that tend to keep that Tesla. So I don't know. He's going to actually counter with a, another uh, Golem. We're going to see. He's throwing a, te a Tesla. So I'm guessing Dirty Golem now, actually. This guy is not a typical guy as far as strategy goes. He, he, he is definitely one in a million. No, I, I'm kidding. Oh, my gosh. So he's going to throw some barbs down. He's probably... He, he, does he not have anything to help with defense for this? Okay, this guy... No, finally out comes the Fireball. Well, finally. What, what am I talking about? I don't care. I don't want him to uh, have that. We're going to throw a tombstone here, though. He is he is, he is he is in so much trouble. Look at it. He, he cannot really deal with this push. It's way too tanky. But that is part of the downfall of this. So here we go. Golem. And let's see. So we're just going to start pushing again. Uh, he, he obviously knows what we're doing now, though. So let's see. I think he just threw another. You're, you're dumb. You're dumb, dude. Dumb. So he threw another Elixir Collector down in the top corner right as we started another push. I don't know what his plan is. It's like, well, it didn't it, it, it didn't work. He didn't get the tower last time, so I'm going to just do it again. So we got everything in the center. Dark Prince, he does manage to decharge the Dark Prince with that. He's going to finally throw a Wizard for the first time of the battle, for the first time in forever. So down goes his tower. That's going to be so easy. We're going to take care of that Wizard like his butter. And now we are we are ready to finish this up. We are done. So here we go. He's just trying to... He's following us up. We got that golem going in right now. We, we're we just going to kind of try to defend. Uh, if I throw the tombstone kind of in this vicinity, we're going to draw the golem. And that's basically going to be game over for him because I don't know how he's going to counter that. Now, Dark Prince on wizard action. We're going to be fine there. Now we're going to just throw our minion horde forward. He's probably going to fireball down because he doesn't want to get three crowned. Nobody ever likes to get three crowned. That's what I've learned in extensive research from this game. And no, we can't even do that. So he can't even get, stop us. And uh, we're barely not going to get the three crown. That is good. So this strategy actually looks like it could work out, guys. I'm going to continue. Uh, come back at you with another golem, or another golem royal giant strategy. 
later in the week. So hopefully you did enjoy the video today. If you did, make sure to like it up, subscribe for more, and until next time, guys, this has been Cupcake Smasher, bringing you another video.